Morning guys, it's Monday. We've already gone ahead and picked up the guys. We're here at the uh, landfill. We're gonna go ahead and dump our trailer because we need to pick up mulch so we can head back over to the house in Yukaipa and get that all, uh, and get the soft skate going, the plants, the mulch. We're gonna start working in the back area and work our way forward. So we're gonna go ahead and dump our trailer right now and uh, then we'll catch you guys at the job site. So I had to stop in the middle of the freeway here, have the guys put the tarp on the trailer. They forget to do that all the time. And I've had trash cans fly out of the back. And uh, the trash can that I just bought um, last week was already bouncing around. So I had to pull over, tell them to go put the tarp on that thing. They always forget about it. So always tarp. If you have a tarp on your trailer, put it on. Okay guys, we made it to the job site. Um, I picked up some rock. Um, so we can finish our little riverbed out front picked up another yard of that we were short on that last week uh, once we've gone ahead and put that down we're gonna rake out the uh, dg that we put in last week compact that get that all ready to go and then we're gonna move back here to the backyard there was a major change back here um, they decided to hold off on all the landscaping back here, all the irrigation. All we did was uh, we left a line, a main line, so that if they ever want to run irrigation, they can. But basically, we're just going to put down some mulch just to dress up this area here. And uh, the same thing on this side. We're just going to put mulch down just to dress it all up. They're going to hold off on doing all the landscaping out here. Uh, so we're going to just dress it up with mulch. Uh, I'm going to go pick that up once we dumped out the... Uh, river rock over there i'm gonna go ahead and pick that up and then we're gonna go ahead and install our mulch all the way back here and that'll be finished uh, the only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bury this uh drain pipe uh they have uh they have a drain system on the slab back here and it just drains out to this pipe we're gonna put a catch basin right here bury it we're gonna cut this pipe flush to the wall and uh, the water will fall into the catch basin and it'll just drain out. Here we're just going to moonlight it right there. Or daylight it right there. Uh, and that'll be it. This area here is all just going to be mulch. So basically the landscaping will still take place. But it's all going to be basically in the front yard where it's all visible. This whole side here is going to be mulch. All the way through here. This planter bed. Um, we're going to have... We are going to do the planting over there where they have the porta potty right now. We're going to move that out of the way, pick up all the trash, and do the uh, and bring in the plants. I think for that corner today. Um, so, got the guys going. We're going to go ahead and dump this river rock and uh, start finishing up some of the uh, areas back here. Well, there it is guys uh, this dump trailer was probably one of the best investments i've ever made it's a uh, big tex 7 by 14 low boy uh 14 000 pound rated uh, makes jobs like this a lot easier we're able to bring in large loads of material and just dump it where we need it uh, makes also going to the landfill a lot easier so yeah there it is we're just going to spread this rock out compact uh the DG. Okay, guys, we're moving along here. We got the DG pretty much compacted. Um, the process of compacting is pretty straightforward. Um, you can uh, you need to wet it down, and the reason you wet it down is you get rid of those air bubbles. Nothing com compacts soil more than uh, water does. Um, you let that um, soak in, and it'll pack it down. Then uh, you can use something like what we're using right now, which is a roller. Uh, to pack it down and we do that in lifts uh, of about uh, an inch to two inch and a half and then uh, that really packs it down makes a really hard surface to walk on you can already see it's already pretty packed right there um, so this is already compacted leveled out we have our DG path going all the way around the property uh, you can see that and it's a very solid walking surface once it's compacted. Uh, 
that goes all the way around we're just uh raking away all the uh ruts that we left with the uh mini skid steer and uh we have our we've already gone ahead and filled in our drainage bed over here with the river rock you can see we have our river rock there for our drainage bed so the path goes all the way around it's all pretty well compacted uh, we got a little bit of DG left over we'll see where we do with that that's all right there um, and uh, we're gonna be shifting over to this side of the property right now we're gonna be putting in fixing in the drain and I already have six yards of mulch on the trailer remember this whole area is gonna be mulch so we're just gonna go ahead and clean this up uh, rake the dirt away from the edges and uh, put in this drain and start laying out our mulch so the mulch is gonna go all the way around we're gonna try to get this all cleaned up Um, it's gonna go all the way there to the corner and all the way around um, this here um, they ended up modifying these steps um, they needed a landing platform I guess by code they need to have you cannot be more than six feet from the ground to this panel here to the center of that so um, it could be accessed for repairs and work so they ended up having to uh, report this concrete to allow for that landing uh, when the masons came they did this I mean I was really pissed off about this um, I sent pictures to the builder I said I'm not gonna clean that up I'm not gonna be cleaning up other contractors messes all the time um, the guy just demoed out the uh, the old stairway and just left the trash there and didn't even finish demoing it out as you can see there's still a portion of it right there I'm not gonna clean that up if he expects me to clean that up I told him that I was gonna charge him um, labor and uh, also dump fees because I've already cleaned this job site once and I'm not going to do it again for free. So um, if his contractors aren't picking up their trash or taking care of the uh, of, uh, be neat, then I'm not going to be cleaning that up for free every time they make a mess. So uh, we're going to keep moving along here. Um, once we start laying out the mulch, I'll show you guys what that process is like. So, Okay guys, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to go ahead and set this drain in place. And my guy digging out the trench and we're also raking this out because we're about to put down our mulch all in through here so I'll show you guys what that process is like There's our drain right there. See, we have a float right there. And what this is, it's spring loaded. So, whenever the pipe fills with water, that top will pop out, and all the water will just flow out into the uh, into the concrete area out here. That'll carry the water out to the street since it's already a natural swell. We have a six inch grade here. We're just gonna put a few rocks around it and uh, that'll be that so next step is uh, putting in all the mulch since we already got it raked out and leveled out so let's move on to that